Lotus Hunter, what hastens your steps? Lot Vulan flinches at the shadows of his past. The Kaz Kal Sul are no more, and yet he fears them still. <laughs> Pathetic. The pride of Alkosh in your tongue. Kajiti warriors of ages past. Hmm. Some advice, Hunter. Pride home is not worth our effort. We must concentrate on the battle ahead. Saving priests does little for our cause. <sighs> Why put yourself at risk for such an insignificant victory? Let these priests die, so that you may live to fight another day. Fine. I shall make my way to Pride Home, for the sake of our alliance. Search the area. We need to find out what the cult wants with Pride Home. I've sent the others ahead. I want you to check in with them and see if they've uncovered anything about the cult's motives. I'll meet you deeper inside. Over here, Walker. This was written by the clan mother. Could be important. Read the scroll, then we'll talk. Seems there's more to Pride Home than we thought. The Pride of Alkosh. Forgotten manes who protect the threads of time, hidden away in this modest temple. Makes sense. This pride of Elkosh protects elsewhere in times of great need. Dragons scheming to destroy us all would certainly seem to qualify, yes? Wish I knew, Walker. We could certainly use the reinforcements. You should find the clan mother and see what she knows, if she's still alive, that is. You'll find Zaji further ahead. He heard some bells and went running off. Quite bold of him. 
He may have a big mouth, but he's never been one for a direct fight. Has our little captain finally found his courage? Not good, if that's what you're asking. Many of the moon priests are already dead, and the cult has spread throughout Prideholm. I'm beginning to wonder what good we can do here. Agreed. Whatever they're after, we need to make sure the cult doesn't get it, even if that's just information. The clan mother should know something. See if you can find her. letter from mother. It's peculiar, isn't it? This one knew mother could read, but he never saw her write. How does she hold the quim? A demon from the east, the pride of Alkosh. What is mother going on about? Well, this one remembers something about the pride of Alkosh. They were warriors born during an eclipse made them more sensitive to time and the call of the moons. For some, it gave them the wisdom to become a main, a leader. For others, they follow a difficult path, Walker. Born under dark moons, the drum of Lorcaj calls to them clearly. Or so the stories go. You should let Sai Sahan know about this. He's deeper within the compound. Maybe Mother holds the quill in her mouth? <laughs> Can you imagine that? No idea. Mother's temple worships Kenati, while Pride Home appears dedicated to Alkosh. They're both of the eight, true, but... Huh. Actually, there is one legend that Zaji remembers. One of Zaji's favorites. There was once a Khajiiti warrior, blessed by Alkosh himself. She fought a mighty demon, drenched in ice and death. Though the warrior was able to trap the demon away, she did not survive the battle. Zachi was getting to that part. The warrior's corpse was taken to Kenarthi's breath temple, where the moon priests prayed over her body for four days and four nights. On the fourth night, when both moons were full, Kenarthi herself appeared. With a single swipe of Kenarthi's paw, the warrior's spirit rose from her corpse. Together, they flew into the sky. Passed the sands behind the stars and went to a place beyond all that is known. There, Alkosh welcomed his warrior home. So the legend says, but a Khajiiti tale is as reliable as, say, a harlot's affection. One should not take either too seriously, yes? there and you should be all right thank you young Jal. you are with the dragon guard yes do you know who attacks our temple rakajin no 
He was raised in this temple. We were brothers in all but blood. And yet, he's the one causing all this death, all this destruction. It cannot be true. Oh, they seek the clan, Mother. Noziwa does not know why. Please, she cannot come to harm. You must find her. The last this one saw, she was heading toward the inner temple. Sai Sahan. Sai Sahan is just up ahead. You should speak to him before moving on to the inner temple. Cultists moved through Pride Home swiftly. I suspect more await us beyond this gate. The Moon Priest here didn't even possess weapons to defend themselves with. Why would the Order of the New Moon attack this peaceful place? A Khajiiti wise woman? Hmm. Perhaps they seek her knowledge. It's said the clan mothers keep many secrets to themselves, often deceiving others with half-truths and riddles. Do you know where this clan mother is? Then let's hope we get to her before the cult does. We should get moving. The inner temple is just ahead. Let's move. Oops. Nephala! Decided to show up after all. Possibly warrant this plan, massacre. We'll watch your back. You can count on us. Set scales. See if she's still breathing. The Dragon Guard comes to our aid, and the threads intertwine once more. Izuni has one song left in her. Though she may be too weak to sing it, will you hear it? Then you must listen. Once a cub was born under the eclipsed moons, destined not to lead as main, but to join the pride of Alkosh. We trained him as a holy warrior, a hidden protector. But that was not enough for Rakajin. Yes, but greed poisoned his heart. He wanted to rule over elsewhere, not protect it. Then the demon from the east returned. It promised the power of a new moon, and Rakajin listened. No time, no time. Alkosh, grant me a moment more. The mask. You must find the mask before Rakajin does. Seek the path. 
Let our founder be your guide. Her statue will... will... Step away, Dragon Guard. She has passed on. The clan mother spoke of the statue. We should examine it. I know it may seem cruel, but we can't abandon our mission. We'll see to the clan mother's body once we out this cult. For now, let's examine the statue she spoke of. Yes, of course. The statue wears a mask, doesn't it? What did the inscription tell you? Jadari? As in the Horn of Jadari? It seems Nephilar has some explaining to do. This Jadari must be part of the pride of Alkosh. Perhaps even its founder. Why else would they so prominently display her statue? The Clan Mother requested we find the mask before Rakishin does. So I can only assume it's a relic of great power. Something we wouldn't want in the cult's hands. We need to find this Divine Mask before the Order of the New Moon beats us to it. And let's see what our resident Red Beast thinks of all this. Hopefully Nathalar is still nearby. Let's ask him about Jadari and the Divine Mask her statue wears. Perhaps this time he'll be more forthcoming. Mother? We were too late. She's dead. How could Rakashi do this? Hisuni was a mother to him. To both of us. Fate will catch up with Rakajin eventually. We'll avenge. Vengeance means little to the dead, Dragon God. I have come. For all the good it accomplished. The Mask of Alkash. Ah, Lord Vulan is a fool. His pathetic priest will never be worthy of such a relic. Not like Jadari. They chase that which they can never hope to control. Jadari. I called her Toshrakat. The founder of Pride Home, and the first of Alkash's pride. Hmm. She once wore the mask, yes. And I suspect her corpse guards it still. But none of this matters. <sighs> then learn the truth for yourself. If you seek the mask, speak with the clan mother of Kanarthi. It was her temple that cared for Jadari's remains. Seek the mask if you wish. I will deal with Lot Vulan. Mm, another fifth mother symbol. Oh, oh no, I am not dealing with another one of your bouts of depression. Alia will go. I will? I mean, of course I will. It's settled. You two will head to Kanarthi's temple and search for the mask. Kaska, Saji, you're with me. Clan Mother Tadali may still be upset with Zaji, but she came across as very wise. I'm sure she'll help us if we explain the situation. If you discover the location of this mask, don't hesitate. I trust you to follow up on any leads you might find. befriended the Red Beast. A dragon. It helped Jadari defeat the demon from the east. The clan mother would often tell us the story. Two beasts clashing. And brave Jadari, who befriended one to defeat the other. Just legends. Jadari wore a divine mask filled with the power of Alkash. But during her greatest battle, it failed her. She died and joined the Dragon King of Cats beyond even the sands behind the stars. Only the clan mothers know. Please, this one must make sure the bodies here are cared for. 
We can speak of the legends another time. Back to mother, eh? <laughs> Better you than me. If I never step foot inside that temple again, it'll be too soon. Take care of the little one, Walker. I'll do my best to keep the others out of trouble while you're away. Pardon the intrusion, Clan Mother, but we bring distressing news. You speak of pride, home, yes? And the death of Hizuni. You already know? This one heard whispers on the wind. Make Narthi carry her to sweeter sons. Though Tidali consents the whims of death. She is blind to your motives. Tell this one, Dragon God. Why have you come? Yes, this temple cared for Jadari's remains long ago. You seek the halls of the High Main, a most sacred place. Its secrets have been passed down across the ages. Though perhaps that tradition has died with Hizuni. Even if Rakajin finds the mask, it would reject him. He will never be worthy of its power. She did. Hmm. Then perhaps Hizuni saw something in the tapestry of time that this one has yet to hear in the wind. Very well. Seek the statue of the Forgotten Main south of this temple. Just listen for the bells. You will find a bell stand by the statue, much like the one in our temple's courtyard. After so many years of neglect, Tidali is sure the bells are heavily tarnished. You should cleanse them before this one arrives. Very well. Ask what you will, Dragon Guard. It is Elkosh's light made solid, made real, a gift, a burden, a claw to mend the tapestry of time. It is divine will that manifests for those found worthy. And yes, it is also a mask you can wear. Any statue of Jedari shows you that. What? You want specifics? It grants the strength of Alkosh's divine will, the power to defeat forces that stand against the natural order. This one could sit here and theorize what precisely that means, but it would do little good. Clan Mother Hizumi was the bearer of those secrets, not this one. If you are found worthy of the mask, you will learn its power soon enough. But do not look to Tadali for all the answers. You know of Rakajin, yes? He was trained from a young age to enter the pride of Alkosh. Upon his death, 
He was to join Al Kosh in a place beyond the sands, behind the stars. But that was not Rakajin's only destiny. In times of great need, Rakajin was trained to obtain the Divine Mask from the holes of the High Main. Through grueling trials and tests of will, he would prove himself worthy. And then he decided to become a Dragon Priest. Youth these days. Precisely. And before you ask, no, Tadawi does not know what these trials are. This one guides heroes to their destiny, just as Kanarthi wills it. It is not her job to provide additional assistance or information. The Halls of the High Main. Sounds rather ominous, doesn't it? I don't think this will be a simple jaunt through some ruins. Let's just hope Rakujin doesn't find the mask first. Yes, I know the statue. Zaji and I passed by it the last time we were in Black Heights. It seemed to unsettle him, but he wouldn't tell me why. Well, no time to ask him now. I'll meet you by the statue. Of course I want to go with you. You'll need assistance, won't you? I know that I might not be the strongest of the Dragon Guard, or the most experienced, or even the most resourceful. Trust me, I'm aware of my shortcomings, but I can still help. I'm sorry, it's just, I can't help but feel like I've let you all down. Yagrandu was dead by the time we arrived. Could I have done something to find him sooner? And Koska helped you find the Order of the New Moon, not me. And my father. It may not sound reasonable, but I can't help it. It's easy to doubt myself after so many failures. That's why I want to come with you. I want to do something right. I want to prove that I'm worthy of the title Dragon Guard. look just like the ones in Kanarthi's breath temple. And look, they're all tarnished. Clan Mother Tadali was right. The bells are tarnished from neglect. Why don't we perform the cleansing ritual? You just need to press the pedal there to start it. I imagine it will be similar to how you cleanse the bells in Kanarthi's breath temple. The small bells glow in a certain order. All you need to do is hit the larger bells nearby in the same order. That should cleanse them. We need to hit the big bells in the same order as the little bells. They should be around here somewhere.
cleansed. Indeed they are. Well done. Come, Dragon Guard. Tedali must prepare you for the trials ahead. Yenarthi calls to you with gentle winds. She can guide you, but never carry you. With cunning, with speed, you must find your own way. Do you accept Yenarthi's blessing? The drums of Lortaj beat strongly. Darkness creeps into your heart, and death claws at your throat. With strength, with courage, you must find the light. Will you face Lorcage's darkness? Elkosh watches with a steady eye. His wayward children have forgotten their purpose and threaten to destroy the natural way. With reverence, with virtue, you must claim his mask and mend the threads of time. Will you walk the path with pride? Canarchy's sweet wings, Lortage's black heart, light to follow and darkness to thwart. Cunning and strength, virtue and pride, may they prove worthy of mask divine. The way is opened, and so Tadali's part in this ends. It is up to you now, Dragon Guard. Tadali will pray for bright moons, Dragon Guard. You could certainly use them. I feel there's more to Clan Mother Tadali's words than pure ceremony. Still, no time to stand around wondering. We have a mask to find. Let's enter the halls of the High Main. Our first trial. Looks like we'll have to find a way across. Those poles certainly look like grappling points, don't they? Perhaps that's how we make our way across the cavern. Or should I say that's how you make your way across the cavern? We only have the one. A grappling bow, of course. I confiscated this one from Zaji back in Senchal, but I forgot to return it to Sai Sahan. It's pretty easy to use. Just aim, shoot, and hold on tight. We just have to hope there's another path. When you reach the other side, look for anything out of the ordinary. A lever to pull or something to light. Anything that may help me traverse the chasm as well.
Grandmother Tadali said you had to find light in darkness. Why don't you try igniting the braziers? the shrine. Seems like we're on the right path.
One shrine left to light. Sliding stones. Casca told me about these. You move them onto panels to unlock gates.
That's a statue of Jadari, isn't it? Let's see if there's an inscription. You have both ventured far, and come so close. But only one may claim the mask of al -Kosh. You who heard the clan mother's dying words, go now, and claim that which you earned. Was that... Jadari? Well, Jadari has spoken. Only one hero can claim the mask, and that hero seems to be you. Which makes complete sense, of course. You have done the lion's share of these trials. I'm just glad I could help you get this far. I could go back to Sai Sahan and report in, but that doesn't feel right to me. With so much at stake and so little time left, I want to do more to support our cause. You're right. I need to focus on my strengths if I want to help the Dragon Guard. I've always been good with diplomacy. Perhaps I can help gather allies, though I'm not sure who I would even speak to at this point. The Shields of Senchal? Do you really think they would join us? Well, it's worth a try. Besides, we've learned so much about the Order of the New Moon and their plans. Maybe my father will finally understand just how dire this situation is. Thank <laughs> you. 
new moon's mane. I will have to kill you myself. Friend, you look like you've been to oblivion and back. What matter of trial did you face? By my honor, that's good to hear. With Rakish and Slain and the mask in our possession, we're much closer to victory. And it's all because of your efforts. Here, take this. Another interesting item I found in the Sanctum's vaults. With this dragon, our task isn't done yet, Dragon Guard. Let us discuss our next step. <laughs> 